Tonight, San Fernando, we love you because we care about you. You love the PNM? Say it again. You love the PNM? I love you. You love me? I am PNM. Let's worship the mayor of the city of San Fernando, Olaman Junior Regalo, political leader of the People's National Movement, member of parliament for Digo Martin West, and our distinguished prime minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. The Honorable Keith Christopher Rowley. Our lady vice chairman of the People's National Movement, member of parliament for Ruka Maloney, and Minister of Planning and Development, give her a warm welcome, the Honorable Camille Robinson Regis. <laughs> Member of Parliament for San Fernando West, and our Attorney General, hardworking, the Honorable Faris Alwari. <laughs> Member of Parliament for San Fernando East, and Minister of Tourism, Honorable, my friend, Randall Mitchell. <laughs> my fellow cabinet colleagues, I see the member of parliament from Aruga Tableland, Mr. Lovell Francis here. <laughs> Deputy Speaker of the House is here also. Members, other members, other mayors, other chairmen, our special councillors for the San Fernando City Corporation and give them a hearty welcome. They, they have been pounding the pavement for the last eight weeks. Members of the PNM Executive, PNM members and supporters, the wonderful people who cannot get room in here who are on the road and close to the supermarket, 20,000 and, and counting. The UNC can count like that. The Princess Town team for the Princess Town City Corporation. And ladies and gentlemen, permit me. I am from San Fernando. I was born in San Fernando. I love San Fernando. I work in San Fernando. And I want to acknowledge a San Fernandian, Ms. June Yule Williams. To say I love her. She has brought a lot to this party. To all the candidates, 139, and we had the best ever local government convention in the history of this country. I, when I leave Savannah and I went home, I was on the bed watching through social media and all I could see is red, everything red, everything red. So we're red and ready and we're getting the job done. Members of the media, citizens of social media, radio, television and our viewing and listening public. You all see I walk with a lot of Documents, right? Plenty documents. Because they have some members of parliament on the next side say nothing happening in the country. But I will show them how much happening in the country just now. I have a few minutes, but I will let you all know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my PNM family, as I said before, I was born in this city. It was a borough when, it, when, I, when I was born. So true. My father was a former mayor of this city, of, this, of the borough. He was the last mayor of the borough of San Fernando. And that, may he rest in peace. And then I came and the party, and I owe it to the party and the political leader, he made me the mayor of the city of San Fernando. Chairman didn't say that I created history because I'm the only father and son in this country to become the mayor of San Fernando. 
The PNM has a lot to boast about, but the PNM is a humble party. Ladies and gentlemen, I was called the other day by somebody and said, I am Mr. Local Government. And I went to my assess it. I worked in the San Fernando City Corporation for 40 years. I might look young, but I worked for 40 years there. I worked in every department, almost every department. I worked where the rubbish trucks are. I used to check the tools. I work in the personal department. I work in the engineering department. I work as a charger and I work through all the departments, most of the departments in the corporation. Then, our late Prime Minister, Dr. The Honorable Patrick Manning, may his soul rest in peace, invited me as a councillor to be on the San Fernando City Corporation. And I passed the screening very easily and I won the seat handsomely. The seat was held before by my father for about 20, 15 years and then I took it over for eight years and I don't know who was advising my brother but he is in it now and he will be there for three years. But the mayor has advised my brother. Ladies and gentlemen and, the, and our councillors, I want to say to you that Three years has passed very fast in politics. And my advice to you is to serve the people with humility, with dignity, with transparency. <laughs> Be accessible at all times. That is what local government is about. We need your garbage pickup. We need cemeteries clean. We need the market in a special way. We need the engineering department to be working popular, popular, the municipal police, and I could talk about every department in local government. Ladies and gentlemen, I came with some notes, but my time is very short. I want to, if you give me the time, sir, I want to say specifically that, that the, I want to mention tonight our Minister of Finance. The Minister of Finance did an excellent job in the budget presentation. Would you agree? Yes. Let him hear you in Maraval. Yes. He did a marvelous job because this, when we, when we took over this economy, you all know where it was. You all know the price of, price of gas. And despite everything, with the $2 billion cut across each ministry, we still manage, and the Minister of Finance deserve a real, you know, somebody said, you put an engineer to do the job. But I want to let you all know, my leader and your leader put the right person for the right job. Look at the Minister of Planning experience. Look at the Attorney General. Experience. My view, he's one of the best Attorney General in the country, as I've ever seen. And I am not saying that for him to get any votes. It's a fact. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Prime Minister had a vision of local government reform. I want to let you all know, under my watch, under his leadership, under this government, local government reform is coming to pass. We need that in this country. Watch out Tobago. We all see how Tobago is nice and clean and everything good you could say about Tobago. We need that in Trinidad. Ladies and gentlemen, one thing I want to say about the reform is that they are hiding, they don't want the taxes, but we need the taxes because the corporation need to have their own funding. Not so, they need the funding. 
and the taxes is not going to tax the whole country millions of dollars. We'll be looking at each corporation by corporation. So this is one thing I, we, we need to do. We have local contractors. You don't want a contractor coming from, I want to say it too hard, from Aruka Maloney to come and work in San Fernando. <laughs> Correct? The contractor from Aruka Maloney must work in that corporation, Sinopuna Corporation. So in San Fernando, we need contractors from within the corporation, within from Pleasantville, from Vista Bella, from, from Monrepo, from Point Pier. We need the contractors to work in that area. And ladies and gentlemen, I have a lot to say. My time is limited. But I want to say something to you all. This was the Prime Minister's vision. This was his vision to ensure that there are 100 police municipal officers in 13 corporations and 200 municipal officers in the Port of Spain Corporation. So you all know me. I can't talk much, but I could act. And from the time I went into the ministry three years ago, and I must say, I want to thank the Honorable Mr. Franklin Khan. I took over from him. He did a wonderful job as the Minister of Local Government. And the template he set was very, very easy for me to follow. Very easy for me. Make him very proud. So we, we, we met, two, imagine we have a whole country and all we had was 200 and 207 police officers in 14 corporations. This Prime Minister, with that vision, said he wanted 1,400 officers. You know, I don't waste time. The public service is slow, but I like action. So far, we have enrolled 200 and 622 officers in the last year. Is that not an achievement? It is an achievement. And I am guaranteeing you by the middle of next year, we will have all the municipal corporations, in, municipal police in all the corporations. Ladies and gentlemen, you probably have noticed, but the you have seen the Prime Minister also had a vision, and this man, is, this man has a real vision, you know, real vision. This Prime Minister is a man that I, I look as I see as a role model in this country. He wanted street signs, standardized street signs throughout this whole of Trinidad. I have started it. We started in Digo Martin. We went to Siparia. We went to Rio Claro. Rio Claro is our next mess up there. But we went to Rio Claro. We're going to Sandy Grandi. And we're going to Arima and then to Napuna after. So by the time, by the end of January, February, the whole country, every street, every trace, every ground will have a new brand sign. They will be in green. You will see it in some parts of the country and we are launching it throughout the country. Ladies and gentlemen, they say we're not doing nothing in this country. Imagine that. But we're doing more for less. And you are hearing this phrase, we're doing more for less, right? When I go to the parliament, in the House of Representatives, there's a particular member of parliament always attacking me but he don't know me. He sees me as a quiet person. But just like Mr. Imbert out on the pavement, I waiting for him in San Fernando. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this year, and I could call out, in, call him out. In Arima, we have drainage. Upper Calvary Road, and only calling a few, eh? Akbarali East. No, let me call out the, the, the UNC corporations. They say nothing happening. They only complaining about funding. No money. 
the more we, we can't spend what we don't have. Not so we can't spend what we, in your house you can't do that. How you run a government like that? Bring it back. Well, yeah, I'll ask the attorney general to let them bring it back. In the Shogunas Borough Corporation, draining and irrigation. Nothing happening in the country. But in Helen Street, we have box rain. In Penko Street, box rain. Tobago Road, box rain. Philip Drive, box rain. Bridges, Andrew Street, box rain. Henry Street, box rain. Princess Town Corporation, nothing happening in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, watch at this. 58 projects in one page. And this is the PNM doing more for less. This is the PNM. We getting the job done. I really wish I could go through all. But I am not fooling you. I am not fooling myself. And I'm not going to fool the people of this country. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I want to say that I have a special place in my heart for my political leader. Your political leader. And our political leader, Dr. the Honorable Keith Rowley, our political leader and Prime Minister, Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, his responsible leadership that has led this country towards moving away from corruption in government. So, let me repeat it. He has taken this country from corruption in government to one of transparency, accountability, value for money, and one which promotes effectiveness and efficiency at all levels. Ladies and gentlemen, our Prime Minister, I sit in the cabinet I never dreamed of going there, but I ended up there. And I thank Almighty God, the Prime Minister, and the People's National Movement, and you who have me where I am. Prime Minister always tell all of us, don't fall in love with office. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, especially the young councillors, don't fall in love with office. This is a temporary office. Use this office to serve the citizens of this country. Do not wait till you leave office to say, I could have done this, and I could have talked to this one, and I could have do this for this one. Everybody can't like you. You are not Almighty God. People will talk to you now, and they will be vexed with you from the time you walk away. Don't fall in love with office. I love this man. I love his principles. I have, bank, I have a, a, a couple bank accounts, but I have four ladies living my, with me. Four ladies is my mother, so don't laugh, a wife, and my two daughters. I'm a Muslim, but I have four, one wife. So I want to let you all know that my bank account it's my money that I save and have in it. No contractor or nobody could offer me anything because I have to account for what I collect on judgment day, which is not mine. I have to answer to Almighty God where I got that money from. None of you all will be there. Not even the contractor who was supposed to give it to me. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to say to thank you to the People's National Movement. Thanks to everybody here. I want to say to the candidates, I, I am the campaign coordinator for the San Fernando City Corporation. They have been working very hard. For the last eight weeks, they are on the ground. They have their offices set up. And I want to congratulate you for offering yourselves as young people in San Fernando and Princess Town. And remember what I told you, always be humble and accessible. When I was a counselor, I used to walk.
my community every three months, you know. Everybody knew me in my community. If I, if I am lying, anybody here could say, you are lying. Nobody inside here could say that. Every three months, I used to walk to every house. Even a little baby would know me. So ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I would like to wish all of us good health and long life. May Almighty God bless and guide our political leader and the People's National Movement, all the hardworking officers of the movement, all of you, the supporters, because I did everything in the campaign. I walked the street. I carried people, senior citizens to vote. I was an area manager. I was every single thing in the PNM. I didn't reach here just by chance. So, Mr. Chairman, I want to say, and I want all of us to say it together, great is the PNM. Great is the PNM. Great is the PNM. And we shall prevail.